Before we start the class, remember, it's important to sanitize our place of worship. And to do that, it's necessary the use of alcohol. Let's start the class. If you remember, we are going to be practicing the class of English. Materials for today, and it's very important, two bottles of water. So ask your mom to have two bottles, a liter of water, and they have to be filled with water. Let's activate some previous knowledge. Do you remember what were we talking about in the last class, last Friday? Huh? Do you remember? Yes, you're right. Last class, we were talking, we were talking about uh, an activity, OK? Let's read the instructions. Let's remember what we learned last session. Watch the videos and complete the following sentences. Very important. Some people were asking me and were telling me, hey, teacher, why you only speak in English? Well, for this exercise, you will have some Spanish. I want you to watch the videos, and then we are going to respond these sentences. Let's start. Vio Graciela Bertacourt, coordinadora de tecnologías de, de la información y de la comunicación y directora del colegio Tomás Alba Edison en Argentina. Dice, el mayor reto es enseñar a los niños y jóvenes acerca del uso correcto del móvil. Sobre todo lograr que el dispositivo esté en silencio, en lo que se necesite estar concentrado. A veces esto es un tanto difícil de entender, dado que han nacido conectados y no saben que se puede vivir sin tanta conexión y que prescindir de ella no es el fin del mundo. Casi el fin del mundo, pero no es el fin del mundo. ¿Quién está de acuerdo con esta opinión? Hay que... Okay, according to the video, let's respond this exercise. Let's complete the expressions. The Spanish teacher that you remember because it is an Spanish teacher. The Spanish teacher, the article about the use of smartphones. What could be the right answer? Let's see the options. Show, taught, cut, or explain. What's the answer? You're right. The Spanish teacher Explain the article about the use of smartphones. Number two, students that smartphones can be a distractor. Then we have the options. A, taught, the past of teach. B, learn. C, play. And D, it's put. What's the answer? According to what you watch in the video. It is correct, learn. Students, you, that you took the class uh, in your house with the television, with the Facebook, or with the Instagram, or even the radio, you learn that the smartphones can be a distractor. Let's continue. Video number two. Teachers of English, and then you are going to complete this expression. Hello, friends, son. Then we have the options. Number four, teachers, their hands to express hello and friends. Then you have A, B, C, and D. Let's watch the video. Hello, friends. Y después vamos a tener otra parte que vamos a hablar sobre el tiempo en el que nos saludamos. Entonces vamos a decir, it's time, señalando como si nosotros trajéramos un reloj. It's time. ¿Ok? ¿Listo, compañero? Listo. A ¿Nos acompañan? A las tres. One, two, two three. three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. 
Hello friends, it's time to say hello. Muy bien. According to the elementary elementary teachers, let's respond. Teachers of English, sang, told, walk or said. What's your answer, class? You're right. Sang, the past of sing. Do you remember the last class? Then, number four, teachers. Then we have the options. A, work. Option B, listen. C, used. And D, went. What's the answer? You are correct. Teachers used their hands to express hello and friends. And they were teaching your younger brother, like from kindergarten, you, they were teaching the hello and friends vocabulary. Then let's continue. Next video, watch it. Quiero que comprendan cómo es un virus. Hablamos de él y volvemos a mencionarlo, pero no tenemos una idea. El COVID-19 ya habíamos dicho que no es un organismo, es una partícula. ¿sí? Y este COVID-19 está con una estructura semejante a esta, donde nosotros encontramos una capa externa que viene siendo esta parte naranja. Y esa parte externa, muchachos, es grasa, es lípidos. ¿Se acuerdan cuando estuvimos hablando de los alimentos y mencionábamos lípidos, que eran grasas. Bueno, es una grasa para proteger la parte interna, que en la parte interna hay una proteína y hay un ácido nucleico de los dos. Well, number five, teacher Laura, then we have the space to fill in the blank to complete the expression, the sentence. Teacher Laura, the COVID-19. Then we have destroys, eliminated, invest, or investigated. In your opinion, what's the answer? What of these four words, it's the correct one, the right one, to complete the expression? You're right. Investigated. That's why she uh, create the COVID-19, okay, for us, to explain us about uh, the COVID-19. Number six, the science teacher walk, describe, drove, or cook? Describe. Describe the COVID-19 parts. And she was explaining for all of us. Then we have one more video. Let's read the number seven before you watch the video. Teacher Pedro, the song, Lluvia Tropical. Then we have the options, copy, wrote, told, or work. Number eight, Teacher Pedro, his hands, wash, listen, watch, or went. Pay attention. Con este video que se llama Lluvia Tropical, Pedro de la Mar, gracias. Está lloviendo, una nube frota el mar, crecen las cascadas y se limpia mi ciudad. Brotan muchas flores de un aroma natural y los corazones laten de felicidad. El que abrió la llave ya la tiene que cerrar porque hay mucha gente. Number seven, teacher Pedro, copy, wrote, told, or work 
da ação de Upia Tropical. What's the answer? Letter B, you're right. The teacher Pedro wrote, he's the one that he created, he composed this song. Okay? Number A, teacher Pedro, his hands. What was the action with his hands? According to the video you were watching before. Wash. Teacher Pedro washed his hands. Last video. Number nine. The mathematics teacher, the formulas with geometrical figures. Then we have the options. I want you to analyze the four options. Answer, visit, went, or match. Number 10. The math teacher, the results. Check, drew, show, or taking. Watch the video. Vamos, entonces, ahora a trabajar con lo que aprendimos. Primero, nosotros vimos algunos formularios. Esos formularios eh, o, o esas fórmulas vimos en áreas cuál es el área del cuadrado, cuál es el área del círculo y cuál es el área del rectángulo. La primera que tenemos nosotros aquí es área es igual a pi por radio al cuadrado. Pi por radio al cuadrado, ¿a cuál de esas tres cantidades, a, esa, a cuál de esas tres casillas corresponde? Muy bien, si ustedes dijeron que era el área del círculo, pónganselo correcto. Vamos a ver la siguiente. Nos dice área igual a base por altura. ¿A quién corresponde obtener esa área? ¿Qué figura geométrica tenemos nosotros que, si ustedes contestaron que es al cuadrado, perdón, al rectángulo, tenemos que es correcta. Área del rectángulo es igual a base por altura. Cuando toma la misma medida, es decir, cuando él eh, se considera el, la misma medida del mismo lado, esa base y esa altura se convierten en lado por lado y tenemos entonces que eh, la fórmula corresponde al cuadrado. Si tenemos nosotros este resultado ahí con ustedes que lo mencionaron de manera correcta, tenemos una palomita. Póngase participación. ¿Hasta aquí alguna pregunta? Ok, so, what are the answers? The mathematics teacher match the formulas with geometrical figures. Number 10, the mathematics teacher check the results. We are going to continue, but remember, we have a commercial break and we return. Thank you, we are back. So let's read one more time what were the answers. Number nine, the mathematics teacher match the formulas with geometrical figures. Number 10, the math teacher, mathematics or math, it's correct. Both options are correct. Math teacher, check the results. Let's continue. If you remember, last Friday, we were talking about the simple past, the use of the simple past. What was it? Well, remember that the simple past was used to express completed, finished actions in a past moment, like yesterday, like last month, like, like last Friday, etc. So, to use the simple past, let's remember the use of past verbs, the regular and the other category, the irregular. What happened in the regular? Do you remember it? You're right. We add the ED in all persons. Hey, teacher, you have a mistake. It's not persons, it's people. No. You can say in plural, you can say people, but it is also correct to refer as persons. Then we have two examples, talk, and then we have in past, talked. The addition of the ED. Play, play. What happened with the irregular verbs? We have to study them as they have special forms in the past. 
Ah, what was that? Ah, yes, teacher, you mentioned it, that uh, they are based in a list, they are titled list of irregular verbs, and I found it in the, in the web. Yes, uh, they, their main characteristics is that they are different they are not using the ED. That's why we said last Friday that we have to study and memorize them. M is, what is that? I am a doctor in this moment, but in the past, 10 years ago, I was a student in the school of medicine. My father, my father is in my house in this moment. But last Saturday, my father was in the hospital because he was sick. You are, you are very intelligent. Well, in past, they were or you were intelligent. Are, but if I want to refer in past, I have to memorize that is where. It in past is eight. A speak, yes, that is correct. Spoke. Have in past it's had. I have three mathematics notebooks, but the last year I had four cell phones in my bedroom. Then we have just a review a very fast practice, just a review. Regular, irregular, let's class, classify them. Was and where, I just mentioned before. That's regular or irregular? You're right. That's an irregular, an irregular verb. Invited, invited, well, Teacher, this is very obvious, and this is very simple for me. You are correct, regular. Broad, what's broad? Broad, it's the past of bring. In this moment, I, I bring just 20 pesos in my pants. But yesterday, I brought, I brought my brother to the macro plaza. That's an irregular. Match. We use this verb with one of the videos activity. Match. You are correct. This is a regular verb. Yes, teacher, it finished with the ED, so it's very simple for you. I know it. Okay? Match. And what is match? Match it's when you consider something and you have and you find a relation. Eight, that's an irregular. Understood, what's understood? Understood, it's an irregular verb, as you can see it, but this is the pass of understand. Understand could be taken like a synonym of comprehension, when you have the comprehension of something. Talk, regular verb, growth. It's an irregular verb, the past of write. And then it's a regular verb. And it is very simple, OK? Then today's topic. Hey, teacher, the simple past was very simple for me, so come on. Yeah, today's topic, it's the past continuous. This is very similar to Spanish. So it's not as difficult to comprehend what's the idea. The past continuous is a verb tense, which is used to talk about an activity in the past, but this is the main word. The action is in progress in a specific point, in a specific moment of the past. The emphasis, the emphasis is on the duration of activity. Do we continue using verbs? Yes, but in this time, we are not going to be talking about regular and irregular. No, now we are going to practice and we are going to learn 
the use of these verbs. First, we need to understand that verbs with ing ending. We have the base form. The base form could be like in parentheses, like the present. And then we have the ing addition. For example, we have cook. What is cook? The action when you prepare something. Uh, teacher, yes, uh, teacher, every day I cook uh, spaghetti because it's my favorite. Well, in progressive, it's going to be cooking. Do you remember the use of ING from elementary school? I'm totally sure you do it. It, it's going to be eating. We can mention the action like a routine. I eat every day at 3 o'clock. But if I want to express that the action is in progress, it's going to be eating. A speck, a speck, like in this moment. In this moment, what is a usual action for people? People speak and communicate. But in this specific moment, what's the progressive action for the teacher? Yes, it's speaking. Teacher is speaking. The action, it's in progress. Go. It's going to be going. Do will be doing. So basically, we include the ing. With verbs that end or finish in e, we have to remove, we eliminate the letter and we add the ing. What is that? Drive. The last vowel, it's e. It has to be canceled. It has to be eliminated. We remove it. We disappear the E. And then we have the ING, driving. Share, sharing. What's share? Share is when you have your homework and then you share your homework to your best friend before the class. Sharing. Write, writing. Dance, it finished with E. Dancing. Practice, E, it's cancel, and we mention it as practicing. Then, we have, we have at the end of the verb a consonant plus vowel and then a consonant. We double the last consonant. Hey, come on, teacher, what is that? Well, I have the verb swim. I have a consonant a vowel, and then I have another consonant. In this case, the rule indicates that I have to repeat, I have to double the M. Swimming, cut, well, it finished with T. Cutting, I repeat T, and then ING. Get, it's gonna be getting. Plan, it's gonna be planning, okay? So, we are going to continue. I want you to, I want you to take the material that I mentioned before. We have a break and we will return. Thank you. Let's continue practicing English. Active pause. What was that? Some people ask me, hey teacher, it was the, the class of English. Why were we practicing or working out, doing exercise. Uh, well, if this is not the sport class, well, doctors, according to doctors' investigations, they mentioned that when we make, when we have physical breaks, when we practice something that involves uh, physical activity, our body produces endorphins, and that substance it's good to work our brain. Let's make an active pause. Did you take the bottles of water that we mentioned before? I hope so. Probably your mom, probably your mom helped you. Okay, so I'm going to disappear and I will be part of the screen. I will become a cartoon. Remember what happened in the last class. Active pause. 
I want you to participate. Invite your brother with the bottles of water. Let's stretch our body. Today we are going to be working our biceps. Okay, take the bottles of water. We have to make 10 by hand, 10 by arm. So let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Continue, keep doing it. We have to make 20. It's harder, but you are gonna be stronger. This is our active pose. We work our bicep. Now we return and we continue talking about what it's the past progressive and what's the use of past simple. One person, one person asked me, hey teacher, can we mix? Can we use the simple past and can we use the past continuous? Yeah, in one expression, is that possible? Yes, it is possible. Um, just remember, the simple past marks and indicates a specific moment in the past, marks a specific moment. But what happened in the past continuous? The past continuous, it's not just an action that is finished. The past continuous indicates something that is during a specific, during a specific moment, okay? Like example, we have, I was eating dinner. Yes, we talk about a past moment, but we mentioned that a specific action was in progress, different to the past. The past is, he called me. Well, how can we use both tenses? Let's read the first one. I was eating dinner, interruption. What finished my action? When he called me last night. Or we have another, another example. When he called me last night, comma, and then I mentioned what was happening with me. I was eating dinner. So in a, in a expression, we can mix, we can use the past, continuous and the simple past. We can express ourselves in past continuous using, using was, as you realized in last slide, but was it's gonna be for I, personal pronoun, when you refer in personal pronoun, he, remember, this personal pronoun, it's when we express information about a boy, she, when we talk about a girl, and it. Do you remember when do we use it? You're right. When we want to talk about an object or an animal. Well, I have to use was in this case of personal pronouns. When do I use where? You, we, and they. After the use of was and the use of were, I have to study them. You have to memorize that. It's not possible to say, I were, nah, that will be, that will be a big mistake. No, it's gonna be, you have to study and practice that is I was, he was, she was, or it was. You were, we were, and they were. Plus, now we use the verb with the ing, the ones we have mentioned during this, during this class. The verb with the ing ending. You are gonna help me. Here we have something that is not in the present. Number one, Goku was transforming into a Super Saiyajin. Do you remember this moment when Goku was fighting with Freezer? 
after freezer kill uh, grilling one more time then we have a very famous singer in Monterey El Babo was singing Pollo y Conejo song during the concert but the concert is not in this moment it was in the past but it was in this specific moment it was the continuous action with the microphone let's see the number three what happened what was happening in the number three Rogelio Funes Mori was scoring an excellent goal do you remember this moment yeah I do it because I was in the stadium in that night and it was the final minute and then Tigres fans don't get mad I have your example too Nahuel Guzman was stopping a penalty kick do you remember this moment Christmas versus America Nahuel was like the superhero okay number five Susana Distancia Susana Distancia was inviting us to respect the distance. Facebook people, don't talk about Abraham. Abraham is not in this class. Okay? Then we have a very famous anime, Ranma. Ranma was practicing martial arts. Let's continue with number seven. What happened? Oh, what was happening here? Dracula was transforming, was transforming ING. And I am talking about someone else. So I use was into a bat. And then we have the action. One of my favorite sport men, Tom Brady from the Pats. Tom Brady was winning the Super Bowl. Now Tom Brady changed and now he moved to Tampa Bay. Number nine, the werewolf, there's one, the werewolf was hunting a man. What is hunting? Killing, okay? So uh, let's continue doing and making some examples about the use of past progressive. Yesterday, I was discussing with my best friend about, hey, no, this is wolf man. No, it's werewolf. Well, werewolf, it's when the appearance, it's more like an animal. In wolf man, it's also correct, but when the major part, it's more similar as a human. So, wolf man, it's more human, and werewolf, it's more animal. Then we have some very famous guys. They were dancing. We are talking about BTS band. Okay. Then we will have, then we will have our reading time, but we have a break. We will return. Good, it's good to be back. Uh, then we have the reading time, our reading time. Remember that reading comprehension is very important, the practice. So we are going to read. I'm going to start to read and you're gonna be reading along with me in your house. So let's start. Today we have something about Robin Hood. Let's start. It was the middle of the day in Sherwood Forest, and Robin Hood and his friends were doing different things. The weather was fantastic. The sky was blue, and the birds were singing in the trees. Even the butterflies were very happy and were flying in circles in the air. Two frogs were jumping in the river, and of course, Robin's dog were also jumping because at last Robin and Marian were together. Keep reading with me, I changed the slide. Everything was perfect. John was fishing in the river because 
There was going to be a party that night to celebrate Robin and Marian's union. Tim and Bob were preparing the saucepan to cook the fish which John was trying to fish. Ben was washing the clothes to wear at the party that night. Marian was brushing her hair to put in a bun. Last slide. Paul was riding his horse because there, were, there was going to be a competition and he wanted to win it. Robin was reading a book, but he fell asleep under a tree. Everything was ready for that night's celebration. I'm sure that they had a fantastic time with all preparations. We finish our reading. Then we got an activity. According to a reading, match the following questions. What time was it? Then we have the options. You're right, it was the middle of the day. Number two, where were these people? In the Sherwood Forest. Number three, what was Marian doing? She was brushing her hair. Number four, what was Robin doing? Let's see the answer. He was reading a book. Number five, what were Bob and Tim doing? They were preparing the saucepan. The saucepan, it's the container. Let's continue. Number six, what was Paul doing? What could be the answer? He was riding his horse. Remember that horse, it's an animal, okay? Then, where were the frogs jumping? Answer, in the river. Where were the birds? Number eight, you're right, in the trees. What were the birds doing? Number nine, they were singing. Last one, what was the weather like? It was sunny. Last Friday, we talked about the weather conditions. Then, if we continue and we repeat, and we read one more time, we can find some past continuous or past progressive. We're doing we're singing, we're flying, you're correct, we're jumping. We're also jumping. Then, second slide, analyze it. Can you find past progressive? You're right. Was fishing, was going, we're preparing, remember was and where, and then the ING. Was trying, was washing. And the last one, was brushing. When we refer, was brushing her, her to put in a bun. Last slide, let's continue analyzing. Yes was riding his horse, was going, was reading. Then we have our second active pause. Now we are going to work out our apps. Pay attention and invite your family. Get on the floor. Let's stretch our body, stretch our body. Remember that it's important, a warming, warming up exercise. And then let's work out our abs. Be ready. One, two, three, four, five. Continue doing it. 
It's hard because probably you don't have the habit to be doing apps or working on your apps, but it is very important and you can do it in your house. You don't need something in a specific. You only, you can practice and you can work out your apps in your house, okay? And then you will get your six pack. Mental map. Why do we have now a mental map? Well, remember, it is important to practice uh, mathematics. My father bought five pizzas. If each pizza has eight slices, the question is, you are not going to copy anything. No, this is just mental. How many slices are in total? How many slices are in total? What's the answer? Well, if we, <clears throat> if we multiply five pizzas per eight slices, then we have our result. And you were correct. It's 40. It's important to practice mathematics. <clears throat> then we have our speaking time. We are almost finishing class. For this speaking activity, I got some of my students, and then we have students participation. Marifer, Megan, Isaac, and Chuy. What's gonna be happening right now? Well, we have a question for one of my students. What were you doing when you were a baby? Please, let's pay attention and listen. Hi, my name is Marifer and I'm from Escobedo. I was eating every three hours. I was crying so much during the day. I was sleeping so much. I was smiling when my dad arrived home. I was using diapers all day. Then we got Thanks the, for all. Then we got the question, thank you to Marifer. Then we got the question number two. What were you doing yesterday? Another student, pay attention. Hi, my name is Jesus Eduardo Campos Garibay and I am from Escobedo City. I was listening to the radio when my phone rang. I was cooking yesterday at seven o'clock. I was answering a test online at 3 p.m. I was talking with my best friend before I slept. I was drinking a milkshake when my mom was a film. Thank you all and bye bye. Thank you too for your participation. Next student, what were you doing seven years ago? Not today, seven years in the past. Hello, my name is Isaac and I am from Escobedo. I was practicing soccer every day. I was sleeping after school. I was taking English lessons on Saturdays. I was doing my homework at afternoon. I was fighting with my brother all day. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, Zach. And last one. What were you doing on your last birthday? Hi, I'm Megan and I'm from Sabina Hidalgo. I was playing video games with my friends. I was eating pizza during my party. 
I was taking pictures with my new cell phone. I was opening presents with my family and friends. I was celebrating when everybody sang happy birthday song to me. And that was it. Thank you. Okay, so a special thanks to Marifer, Megan, Isaac, and Chuy from Secondary 37, uh, Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra. It's a real pleasure to be your teacher. I'm so proud of you guys. So, according to this class, you have to remember something. Uh, what is what we learned today? Well, the use of past progressive, the use of ing verbs, but before that, it is important to recognize the use of was, the use of were, but you have to memorize the rules. When do I use ing? When do I cancel? When do I uh, eliminate the e? And when do I need a complement? If I say, I was doing, okay, but you can complete this expression. I was doing what, teacher? Well, I was doing my homework. Teacher, my father, my father was sleeping. But you can complete this expression, not only say sleeping. Okay, my father was sleeping all Saturday because he was very tired. If we express and we give details, our information is going to be more complete. For today, we finish our class. It was a real pleasure to be your teacher here on television. Um, just remember something. Just remember something. Stay home, very important. Stay safe. Take care of your family. Don't go out your house. Stay home. It's very important. It was nice to meet you, and that's all for today. So thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye.